Hi and welcome to The Sewing Studio. I'm Anna and I'm going to talk you through our top three best value machines. Now what we mean by best value is basically all round package, so what you get for your money. In third place we have the Brother Innovis 15. In second place the Brother Innovis A50 and in top spot the Janome 5060 QDC. They're all fabulous machines and I'll talk through each one in more depth for you. In third place, we have the Brother Innovis 15. It's a myriad between a mechanical and a computerized machine. So you have your jog dial here to select your stitches of which there are 16 and you just simply turn the dial and you are going up through the numbers to select your stitch. And here you will have the option to change the stitch length and the stitch width of your fabric. There's a handy little button here that should you want to sew and the machine automatically do a reverse or a securing stitch at the start and the finish, then you can press that button and it'll automatically do that for you. The machine comes with a foot pedal, but you don't have to use the foot pedal to operate it. You've got a start stop button here does exactly what it says on the tin, starts the machine, stops the machine. And this little slider here controls your speed. You've got a needle up down button and your reverse button here. This dial up here is for your top thread tension. It has a needle threader. The bobbin is a top loading bobbin and it has brother's quick set function on there, which means you lay the thread in around there, cut it off and when you start to sew, you could just carry on. You don't need to draw a bobbin thread up like you would traditionally. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. You can drop the feed door because there's just a little switch on the back. And the accessory tray in the front comes off to give you your free arm. The machine comes with five different presser feet. So you've got your zigzag foot on the machine. It also has a um, zipper or piping foot, your blind hem foot, a rolled hem foot, a foot for sewing on buttons and then a buttonhole foot which is a one step buttonhole with this machine. It also comes with a range of accessories. So that's the overall package. Let's see how the machine itself handles some different types of fabric. For the first sew test I've got a thin piece of polyester. I'm choosing a standard straight stitch and I've got a standard needle on the machine. Just going to increase the stitch length slightly because this type of fabric is um, prone to puckering. And as you can see, the machine's sewing through that with ease. And the results are a nice, neat stitch, both front and back. Moving on to a stretch fabric, I'm going to select the stretch straight stitch, which is number 10. So I just move the dial along to there. And I've popped a stretch needle on. It's doing three stitches on the spot, so I'll pop the speed up to full. And as you can see, the material is staying nice and flat, the stitch isn't pulling it, and you can still stretch the fabric with the stitch in place. And finally, some denim fabric. I'm gonna pop the stitch back to a standard straight stitch, and I've put a denim needle on the machine. I'm going to increase the stitch length to three just because it's a slightly thicker fabric and it's going through that with no trouble so I'll double it over and try that. Again that's no problem at all so I'll double it over again Now I can hear the machine's working slightly harder, so that probably is its limit. Nevertheless, it's sewn through it and the stitches are uniform both front and back. Taking second place is the Brother Innovis A50. Again, it's a myriad between mechanical and computerized. And you've got your jog dial here, um, which is how you select your stitches. Lots more stitches on this one at 50. When it's plugged on, you can see the digits of each stitch and then you're just turning the dial to scroll through those stitches. Here you would change your stitch length and stitch width. You've got a twin needle setting there to do any twin needle sewing and an automatic reverse for if you want the machine to sew a reverse at the beginning and the end of your piece of sewing. It comes with a foot pedal, but that is optional. You have the start stop button and again, the slider to control your speed. 
needle up, needle down, reverse, and then on this one, the addition of a locking stitch button. It has a more advanced needle threader. It's what they call a one action needle threader that makes life much easier. A top load in bobbin, drop in bobbin, and the quick set. You can drop the feed dogs, the little button at the back. This dial up here is your top thread tension. It also has an accessory tray that pops off and then that gives you the free arm. It comes with seven different presser feet, your zigzag foot, a zipper slash piping foot, a blind hem foot, rolled hem foot, a foot for sewing on buttons, a decorative stitch foot, it's just a bit more open so you can see where you're going, and a buttonhole foot for the one step buttonhole. It also comes with a range of accessories. Let's plug it in and see how it performs on the same type of fabrics. So here we have a thin piece of polyester. Now with the Brother machines, the default stitch is stitch number one, and that puts the needle position to the left. If you want it in the center position, you just choose stitch number three by turning the dial, and you'll see on the screen it's at number three. So I'm just sewing down through there, but I can see actually, for this fabric, I should have upped the stitch length. It's a little bit wavy, so I'll do that now, and we'll go again. And it's a bit hard to see because I'm quite close to the other line, but that does give a flatter stitch and produce a nice result on that fabric. I've got a piece of stretch ribbed fabric. I'm going to switch the machine over to a stretch straight stitch, which is number five. I've popped a stretch needle on. And the material is nice and flat, there's no wavy bumps and it's still got stretch with the stitch. Now time for the denim test. I've popped the stitch back to a standard straight stitch and just increased the stitch length and popped a denim needle on. It's going through those two layers of breeze. So doubling that over, try that. It's going through that no problem at all. I'll double it over again. Try that. And as you can see, both top and bottom look lovely. So it's gone through that many layers, no problem at all. In first place, we have the Janome 5060 QDC. Uh, it's a great all-round package in terms of what you get and is by far the best value for money. The machine itself is a decent machine and has lots of features, so I'll talk you through them first and then we'll move on to what it comes with. It has 60 different stitches, which are all detailed here for you. Selecting them is very easy on this LCD screen and when it's switched on, you've also got your option on this screen to change your stitch length and your stitch width. The machine comes with a foot pedal, but the foot pedal is optional. There's a start stop button that operates the machine. And then you've got a speeds control here. So you slide that to go slow, medium or fast. You've got an automatic thread cutter, auto needle up, needle down, and your securing stitch as well as your reversing stitch. The machine has a handy needle threader to help you thread the needle. And this little dial up here um, gives you the ability to adjust the pressure that's on the presser foot. The bobbin is a top loading bobbin, drop in bobbin, either one, they're the same. And it has an easy set function on there. So, so when you thread the bobbin, you lay the thread in around there, it cuts the thread off for you and you can just start sewing. You don't need to draw the thread up as you would traditionally. It also has a free arm. You've got an accessory box on the front that just pops off. So you've got your free arm and you have the option to drop the feed dogs. There's just a little switch at the back that you flick over and it drops those down for if you wanted to do any free machine work. The reason this machine is our best value machine is what you get in the box, which is a lot. 
So firstly, there is what I would call standard presser feet that come with most machines. You've got your zigzag foot that's on the machine. You then have a zipper or piping foot, a blind hem foot, an overcasting foot, and this is like a clear sort of decorative um, foot, so you can see where you're going when you're doing the decorative stitches. The machine performs a buttonhole in one step, so this is the, the one step buttonhole foot. In addition to those, you also get uh, a clear foot similar to the other one, but it's open toe, so you've got even more visibility. A quarter inch piecing foot for patchwork or top stitching a darning foot for darning <laughs> or free motion, a walking foot with a quilting guide bar for doing any quilting. It's really good to help stop the layers from shifting. This foot is also really good to use with stretchy fabrics to help keep the fabric consistent underfoot so that you don't get that overstretch and curviness when you finish sewing. And also there is a seam guide that screws onto the needle plate of the machine. It also comes with an extension table here. You just pop the accessory box off, the legs flip down, and then they've got little rubber, rubber adjusters <laughs> on the bottom so you can get it level. And it slides on the machine like that. And what that does is give you a bigger work area. So if you are quilting or you know, doing something with heavier side of fabric, it helps to support the weight of it. Great if you're doing free motion where you want the space for your hands to be to move the fabric around, so really useful. There's also a range of other accessories. Now, it's all very well having all these accessories and things, but is the machine any good? Well, I can tell you, yes it is. It's a great machine, it's easy to use, and I'll get it plugged in and I'll show you how it performs on a variety of different fabrics. I'm using quite a slippy polyester, so to get the best results, I'm just increasing the stitch length slightly. And then we'll pop it under the foot. And the result is a nice even stitch and no puckering on the fabric. Moving on to stretch fabric, I've popped a stretch needle on the machine and I'm choosing a stretch straight stitch. As you can see, that's gone through that no problem at all. There's no waviness in the fabric and you can stretch the fabric along with the stitches. On to denim. I've popped a denim needle on the machine and gone back to a standard straight stitch. And that's gone through two layers, no problem at all. So I'm gonna double it over. Again, it's gone through that no problem at all. The stitches are nice and tight and secure. There we have it. Our top three best value sewing machines. The Brother Innovis 15, the Brother Innovis A50, and the Genomi 5060 QDC. The Innovis 15 has 16 stitch options and just a few options of presser feet that come with it, hence why it's in third place. The Innovis A50 jumps up to 50 stitch options, so quite a lot more, and more feet that come with it. Both the Brother machines have what I would call sort of like a soft, ooh, okay, get through, soft dust cover there just to keep the dust off, but obviously your first project could be making a nice cover for it if you wanted to. The Genomi, however, comes with a hard cover that just slots on the top and you've got your handle accessible there to transport it everywhere. Also, you can see it comes with a lot more um, feet and attachments and things, and not forgetting the extension table as well. I hope you found that useful in your decision-making process. All these machines are listed on our website, so head on over there and all the descriptions and features and accessories that I've mentioned are detailed on there, just to remind you. And here at the Surrey Studio, we are really accessible, so if you've got any questions, any queries, please do get in touch, and thanks for watching.